Hi, I'm Rado Popescu. Today I'm going to talk about how to create an install log for MSI. Windows Installer handles this installation through MSI Exec. The logging options offered by this tool allow you to create different types of logs depending on the information you need about the installation. From a CMD, let's type the MSI Exec slash question mark to see the list of available options. The most used logging command is L star V. This command will create a verbose log which offers a lot of information about the installation. You can add this parameter when you install, but also uninstall an MSI, and also for patches and bootstrappers. Now let's install an MSI and create a log for it. Type in MSI exec, then slash i for installation, followed by the path of our MSI file. Then you can add the silent parameters, and in the end, the log parameters followed by the location where you want the log file to be stored. Wait for the MSI to finish installing, now let's open the log file and see how it looks like. The exit code by the end of the log reflects the install status. 0 means install was successful and 3010 means reboot is required. If you encounter any other exit codes, it means there was an issue with the installation. In this case, you can use the find function to search for the error keyword. You can also automate logging with the Windows installer logging policy. For that, open the regedit.exam and add the following registry keys and values under Local Machine Software Policies Microsoft Windows Installer. The log file will be created in the currently logged on user stamp folder and will have a name in the following format. msi.log Careful though, this option should not be left active since every install uninstall operation of an MSI package will create a new log file, though unnecessary occupying disk space. In order to disable the debugging policy slash automated logging, you can delete the registry values you have previously added. For more guides and tutorials, check out the Advanced Installer YouTube channel and Advanced Installer blog.